Hello everybody, I am back, your host Roman, but I am not alone because we are now jumping into the next one which is Chameleon Twist Any% percent being run by the incredible Final Flame. Take it away my friend. Thank you very much Roman. Hey everybody, uh, you may remember me from runs past, I'm also staff on Fast Paced Events. Uh, and here bringing you another non-Sonic game, not something I tend to do a lot. Uh, we're here with Chameleon Twist, if you just got a nice little preview of what you're looking forward to. One of the worst rooms in the game. Uh, short platformer released on Nintendo 64. Gonna be doing any percent, going a new game, and we're going to have our character selection, which you all donated for. Roman, could you please let me know which character I am playing as? The character that has won the selection with $115 is... Fred, the orange chameleon. All right, I, probably my most, well, probably my least used character out of all these. Uh, there is absolutely no difference between the characters outside of visual representation. So up till recently, I've typically been Team Linda, but switched to Team Davey as of yesterday when I got into DB. Sorry, Jack, we're going with Fred. All right, let's get this show on the road in three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right. <clears throat> so the first stage is a little unique. This is split into kind of two parts. The first part is just a large outdoor area we are running through. A lot of running, a lot of jumping, a lot of twisting coming up pretty shortly. Uh, it's main quick movement mechanic in this game. Twist our way around poles. We can swallow up enemies, which you will be seeing eventually. I believe first boss will be the first example of that. We are playing on the Japanese version, so there's a couple differences, mostly minor, to be aware of. The first minor difference, in this stage, if you run in the water, your movement is greatly slowed. Now you might wonder, well, why are you playing Japanese then? Because it does save optimally a good amount of time. Uh, hopefully we'll save a little bit here. Uh, not in this stage, though. Uh, <clears throat> there's another of those sections coming up here very shortly. And this is the major water section. In this version, I have to actually ideally jump onto these platforms, as I missed the one there, just to save myself from losing a good amount of time. In the US version, you can just jump or run in the water, whichever you prefer, and not have any issues. Coming up to the first major trick of the run, called a Z-Clip. I am using my tongue to vault myself backwards in an attempt to clip through the door just like that, and it confuses the game and goes, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Let's put you in the boss room. This is the only instance you will see of me doing that. Uh, most of the stages in this game are made up of little rooms, and doing so you could use to get into uh, a future room. However, I will not be performing any of those. Leave. Oh, perfect. Two cycle. Let's go. Good start. Very good start. I'm pretty happy with that. And now we'll be moving on to Bomb Land. These stages do get progressively harder. Uh, this is Jungle Land. We will move on to Bomb Land next. Followed by Kids Land. And then Ghost, not Land, but Ghost Castle. So first things first, I'm going to be grabbing some enemies with my tongue and bringing these into the following rooms. That uh, just saves me a little bit of time in uh, various rooms. These crowns mean absolutely nothing for this category. They are collectibles. Um, the only thing I know that they actually do is unlock a room in the last uh, level. I did not want to spit that like that. That's okay. Uh, this floor hurts. That's okay. I could just vault up to the top like that using my tongue. So you can see how there's a lot of move, fast movement you can do with your tongue. Uh, in this stage, we're going to be blowing up a lot like that. That room was pretty easy. There's going to be one similar. Please give me that. Thank you. Uh, it's going to be much more difficult later on. You'll also notice a lot of the rooms sort of repeat. Uh, they're not exact repeats, but the mechanics you have to do in them are different, or are very similar to some prior rooms. Uh, I purposely, you might have noticed my jump there when firing at the pillar. That's so the top block falls quicker. So, we were already in one of these rooms. Gonna do it again. And vault all the way to the top. Get rid of that enemy, because I don't need it. You can do a jump across the gap there, but it's very tight. Honestly, I kind of wanted to go for it and just completely forgot. 
All right, spawning in some of these little rockets there and going to do a trick there. This is the first of the RNG rooms. I'm looking for the one that's a circle like that. So you're meant to actually destroy the block and then destroy a bomb on top of those. Uh, but I did not do that. No, I wanted those hearts. Uh, but what you what we actually did there was destroy two bombs at once. The second one being detonated, I believe, off of the first bomb. I missed some of those. That's okay. There's the other one. Hi, bye. On to the boss. So this boss is much quicker in the Japanese version optimally. In the US version, you have to do about three cycles minimum to get enough bombs to destroy it. But on the Japanese version, it drops a lot more bombs. So we're gonna try and take advantage of that and grab ideally seven at once. That was not seven. That's okay. Just gotta wait for it to charge at me. Get a better angle. All right, just need one more. That's not exactly how I wanted to do that. I was trying to grab a bunch of bombs. Get away from the bad floor and wait for it to make one more turn. There we go. So probably about equal to what I wanted to, would have done on the US version in that case. Hey, we're halfway through the run. Unfortunately, we're not halfway through on time. On to uh, what I call my Kids Land Let's Play. But I'm gonna try and do a little faster than that. Kids Land is difficult. It's very cycle heavy. Uh, and there's also some RNG involved. So we're gonna have to hope for some good RNG. Hope that our movement was good enough to make some of the cycles I want. This is the first of the cycle room. That's the easy one. Another difference here between the versions. Grab a bunch of these little Oreos or whatever they are. And I actually shot it in such a way that it knocked that giant wafer back and I was able to just walk through. Okay. First of the platform rooms. I am horrible at these and always fall off. No, just like that. <laughs> I try to short jump it a little bit. Because what I actually want is that platform. There we go. I have a couple more of these. I don't know, are these Oreos? Ice cream sandwiches? Whatever you want to call them. Nice. Got the good shot on my way in. Grab a chocolate kid. Got one more of these flying enemies to take care of right there. Off to a pretty good start into RNG room number one. We have these three platforms. You cannot hit the ground between them or they will reset. And you have to land on the platform that is lit up to open the door like so. That's a little too far. All right. While I make my way through this, Roman, do you have anything you'd like to bring up? Hello, Final Flame. Yes, I have something to bring up. We have a ten dollar donation from the uh, tell me sort of butcher the pronunciation, Alice Wujasu, Wujasu, something like that, saying good I believe luck. Believe you had Flame. it right the first time. Oh, as I fall. <laughs> Thank uh, you good for luck, Flame. That. You won't have to twist my arm to get me to donate during this run. And a. Donation from our ever beloved Hatsu 61 with $16.01 reading nice and We love you, Hatsu. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So, in that case, I did not actually knock those giant wafers back. I did a damage boost off of them. And actually, the first time I didn't damage boost and made it through, you can do that. It's not easy to do, but unfortunately, I fell on the next one. Please do not fall off. Thank you. Just gonna reposition myself a little bit because I don't want to reset this room. There we go. Not horrible RNG. I actually, I think it was pretty good. All right, this room, I'm gonna take it a little carefully. Uh, and then the next RNG room, oh boy. Nice, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, if I had remembered, I would have grabbed that heart there. That being said, dying those hearts do give health. Dying in this game is actually not a big issue. Uh, you will, even if you game over, you will respawn at the room you are in. That was not bad, I'll take it. So dying is like not actually much of a time loss. That uh, being said, there will be another heart coming up. I will grab it. 
just because it does, you know, lose you time. Uh, into what is arguably the worst room in the game, as you can see by the camera. I meant to practice this jump and totally forgot. Nice. That jump's easy. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Please land. Good. Okay, this is going well so far. I'm going to take this one a little bit easy because this is... Uh... <sighs> okay. Let me try for something here. Did not get a pause. Alright, this boss is going to look weird and I meant to explain it in the last room. So, you can see this cutscene. You can see these chocolate kids. We're going to need to grab them all. We're not going to do this as intended. I'm going to save my game. We're going to exit to the main menu. We're going to decide we need to go into time attack and then realize it's actually not a great idea. This is not the time for that. And now we're going to load that file. And what this does is give, does that cutscene again, but gives us control during it. And I'm going to try and use this to our advantage. All right, I don't know how many I got there. Uh, ideally, you get all four kids there. And the boss is just over. Otherwise, you have to go through, well, this. Okay, not terrible. That was three kids. That still saves time doing that. And now we're already on the last stage, Ghost Castle. Uh, this one... I don't know if I feel like that's more of a pain or if it's kids' lands, to be honest. Uh, they both have advantages and disadvantages. Or a lot of disadvantages. Um, yeah, so there's two paths you can go here, left to right. Left is by far the shorter path. Just dodge that fire snake, if you will. And you gotta be careful of these barrels or you will not get your jump input. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that there. Uh, okay. Especially this one! Yeah. So, mashing jump and I just fell right off. Pushed my luck a little too much. That's okay! Did I mention I'm bad at 3D movement? Yeah, maybe this is worse than Kids Land for me. There we go. Alright, and now we converge with the other side, which still would have been slower even with all those falls, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we have a rotating room here. You do not want to fall in the holes, but you do want to make it across at a pretty decent speed, which we did, because here's the floor, and now's our only chance to get up into here. Alright, now you're going to see a bunch of repeating rooms. The first of these candle rooms. I'm going to want to collect a couple fires here. Yeah, that's plenty. Uh, into RNG room number one. There's got to be two mirrors that spawn. Uh, and it's RNG which one I need to destroy. There we go. Also of note, and you can kind of see it here, when you are carrying uh, flames, or really carrying anything, you are slowed down. Alright, first of these platform rooms. Let's do it again, because I just love this room. Uh, thanks, candle. There we go. There's gotta be two of these rooms. The second one is much more difficult, specifically on the Japanese version. Uh, these platforms, you can see they're kind of lasting a long time. However, in the second room, that is not going to be the case. Okay, glad I made that jump. Uh, into this little circle. I'm gonna grab the health just just because I know the stage I'm in. It's costing me a couple seconds to grab that. I can also see as I jump, these fires do jump with me. However, I'm not really being held back by the spinning wheel. Ooh, the lag. Alright, yeah, this room is uh, going to absolutely be a pain. In my rear, as you can see, these platforms do not last long. So I do need to go at a pretty decent pace. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. RNG room number two. Now we've upped it to four mirrors. And RNG first time, first try. That is awesome. I did not need that. All right, coming up to the second to last room, and this is one I've had to do a lot of practice on because uh, I am very bad at it. Uh, I could show off a little trick there, but uh, I'm not good at it. Sorry, community. I know the Twist community came out to see this. Uh, I've tried. I am not getting that with any sort of consistency. Let me actually land on that. I am going to do one little final spin here. Uh, it only saves a little bit of time, but uh, with the way my 3D movement is, it saves me a good amount of time. Into the final boss. This is a two-phase boss. Phase one, we simply need to lick balls. It's exactly that. Uh, four of these on each arm, I need to get rid of all the big ones. Like so, but preferably without getting hit. Alright. Unfortunately, I uh, did not get that one. Alright. So, bad by me, that's fine. I'd like to not lose all my health because uh, phase two is a doozy. There we go. Alright, so time for an RNG fest. And this is very, very difficult on Japanese version, but also potentially faster. So he's going to shoot either a straight line of balls or a curved line of balls. I need to collect as many as I can. Uh, also, heavy movement like that. And I need to fire at him while he's moving. Oh, time! Holy cow, that was actually okay. That was supposed to take me a lot longer than it did. Uh, you need to basically predict where he's going and hit him while he's moving, and that's actually a very, very hard boss fight. Uh, cool, I got that quick, and that's another PB. I'll take it. That is sub-16. Thank you. Awesome. I hadn't PB'd in this game in like four years, and I got a PB last night. Just barely above 16, and this one is uh, 1527, I believe is what it will come out to. I'm pretty content with that. That is the Chameleon Twist. I'm genuinely super happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, it's a fun game. Uh, I picked it up many years ago as part of Speedruns Live Season 2. It's kind of funny because I had never seen it or anything, but I remember at the time I was doing uh, SRL races of uh, some classic Sonics and saw people in the community doing races of this, and I just saw the name and was like, huh, interesting game name, and never cared about it again until they announced it as part of SRL Season 2, and when I did, I'm like, I'm going to play that without even knowing I was getting myself in there. Uh, yeah, thank you for the GG's. Uh, shout out to the entire Chameleon Twist community. I absolutely could try to name some people, but I would inevitably miss other important people, so I do highly recommend uh, checking it out. It's a fun game of speedrun. There's a great tutorial. And the community has been very active and finding uh, new strats constantly. I was shocked when I uh, came back and saw how much it changed. And even just today, I'm seeing so much strat in the Discord, uh, trying to find faster strats. Uh, welcome, was, Raiders. Yes, just in was, time for a PB. Go on. That was, I was just saying, that was an incredible run, really fun to watch. But where can people see more of your incredible content? <laughs> I have a Twitch channel I admittedly have not streamed in a while. But one day, that may happen again. And that can be found at twitch.tv slash final flame. Uh, if you're just looking for a place that I interact with regularly, the FPE Discord, that basically becomes second home for me. Uh, and I can always be found around there. It is a wonderful place to be. And you lovelies have a wonderful time where you are right now as well. We are jumping into a very quick intermission, and then we'll be right back at you with another incredible run, which is uh, Baba is You from Ruffle Bricks. So stay tight, stay hydrated, and we'll be right back. 